What if we get thrown again? Man, last time that happened, it hurt. I don't feel like we will this time. Don't worry. How do you really know? I just feel it, I guess. Eh, whatever. Let's just keep going. So, uh, what is this whole locker deal? Well, it was a rumor, and thanks to Amber, we investigated it. Turns out it's true, and now we're trying to get Dan back. They're holding him captive. Oh, jeez. Any idea why they would do that? That I'm unsure of. It's cruel to do this to anyone, let alone another one of your peers for that matter. Definitely. I don't understand myself, either. But it is what it is, and we just need to focus on getting Dan back. I'd really hate for something to happen to him, after all. Yeah. I'd hate myself forever if that happened. I'm sure he'll be alright. We can do it. Huh. I think we made it through. Weird. Hmm. Maybe it's a sign they want us to come. Specifically, us? Seems it. Let's just go in. I hate it here. It's filled with really weird people. Okay, because I could have sworn that she did that yesterday. Was it my imagination, like, actually? I mean, if you want it to be, I guess you can make it so. By what you have said so far, it sounds believable. No, it doesn't sound believable. She did do it. I know you weren't around to see it, so... Wait, could you explain what she did exactly? I don't think I heard you. <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is that she said things to me in the bathroom, and that she recorded it and ran off giggling. That's it? Really? So this girl decided she wanted to say stuff to you, record what she was saying, and ran off laughing? That doesn't make sense in my book. I didn't even respond. She just saw me in the stall and wanted to do it, I guess. But that doesn't- <sighs> You know what? Never mind. Let's forget it and talk about something else, yeah? Just one more thing. Wait, hold on. I just noticed that someone near the other side of the room has been staring at us. How long do you suppose she's been staring? I don't know. I just noticed. What's so bad about it? It's not bad, it's just a tad uncomfortable. Let's go up to her then. Really? I don't want to cause trouble. Just trust us. We know what we're doing. And you didn't even mention going up to her. I stand by what I said. Dang it. Did they see me? Oh, hey, Ellie. Shh. Uh, what seems to be the problem? We just wanted to ask you why you were staring at us from over here. Oh, it's really not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. Come on, tell us right now. Why were you watching us? Um... No, I don't need no ums or whatever the heck. Just tell us what you were doing. Maybe you should calm down just a little... No, because I know she has something to do with us. Okay, Ains. And what do you think I have to do with you? Can I not watch people? Or is that a crime? No, but if you're staring at us specifically, then you must have some sort of problem. I don't have a problem! Why can't you just understand that? Oh my gosh, you know what? If you don't tell me what's going on right now, we're gonna fight in front of the entire school. Why are you being so aggressive? I'm not, but I think I can safely say you're just jealous of us. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. I said what I said, and what are you gonna do about it? Okay, I think we're gonna go now, right? Whatever. <sighs> it's just that easy. What did you just say? Oh, um... Where is Dan? I demand to know where he is! <laughs> What's so funny? Dan... is no more. What? What do you mean? Oh, you little... <laughs> what 
the... What the hell? Why did you do that? And, and where is Dan? She tried to attack me. I simply defended myself. And as I said, Dan is no more. Gone. Well, maybe not physically. He's alive, if that's what you're wanting to hear. Physically, but maybe not mentally. What did you do to him? I'm not too sure you'd want to know. It might make you lose your mind. Would be funny to watch, though. <laughs> Ugh, this isn't worth it right now. We'll be back. You'll get what's coming to you, and we will retrieve Dan, whether you like it or not. Huh? Where am I again? Amber? Ro? Who are you? And where am I? It seems you've woken up. Again. Don't worry about it, dear Dan. That isn't important. Then let me go! No can do. Try something else. Listen, let me cut to the chase, Dan. We have you here because we want you to join us on our little mission. To change this school and get payback for everything they put us through! <sighs> they don't do anything about bullying, so we want to change that permanently. While I don't mind helping, I have a bad feeling about this. You captured me, so no, I decline. I don't want to do this in an immoral way. Are you sure? I, I know some kids here have hurt you, right? Because if if my memory's not mistaken, you were bullied at some point. Um, yeah, a bit, but I don't desire to hurt these people. We've all moved on and grown up. Are you genuinely sure that's what you desire? Wouldn't it be nice to get vengeance? I said no. What can't you understand about that? We are trying to help you here, Dan. We know what you want deep down. Just let us help you. You don't know anything about me. Hell, you don't know me at all. Stop acting like I want to hurt people when I don't. Maybe you can't move on from stuff in the past, but I can. Stop telling me what I want and what I need to do. You're so stubborn, but it seems you see what we want. Smarter than I thought. I think we should just... We aren't giving up! You might as well, because I don't agree. I don't want to do this! Well, I'm gonna go do some stuff. Have fun! Damn it! Why can't you just agree and do what we ask? We're not asking for a lot here! Thomas, calm down. No, 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 no! I'm sick of this! Why can't he just go along with it? He is ruining our plans! Dude, what the hell? This is what happens when you get stubborn on me. I'll come back later. And by then, you have better chosen the wise decision here. I'd never join you in your wildest dreams. Well, Dan, have you made your decision yet? Yes. I did from the start. I'm not doing this, whether you like it or not. Why is it so hard to do this? Because I know you and the others will hurt people. I don't want to do that. We're gonna hurt Amber and Rosal. If you keep acting like this, you don't want that, do you? You really don't want that. What? Oh, Dan, you don't need me to repeat myself. I think you understand. I don't believe you. You don't even know where they are. Hmm. Oh, really now? Are you sure about that? Yes! You know what? This is ridiculous. Forget it. I'll come back again eventually. You better agree by then. I will not be putting on an act next time. Never. Do... Um... Do you think they actually, uh, killed him? Well, 
I don't know, Roselle. We don't know for sure, but I seriously hope they didn't. Yeah, I'm... I'm worried, honestly. I would hate for Dan to go like that. I'd never forgive myself. I wouldn't either. Dan doesn't deserve this, and I... I caused this because of my stupid curiosity. I should have never started this. I... I am so sorry. Amber, I understand you feel bad, but please don't blame yourself. It's okay. We're gonna save him. You're right. You're right. Okay. I understand. I won't. Great. I'm sure we'll be reunited with Dan soon. We've got this, Amber. Gosh, I hate them. And I hate myself more for pushing them to be like this. Roselle? What do you mean? Roselle? Is everything okay? Oh. Uh, okay? Alright then. I won't push it. Hi, Roselle. Why did you want to meet here? I need to tell you something. I think I know why those students are... doing this. <sighs> okay. So, basically, I wasn't the best of people back in middle school. This was before we met. I used to pick on kids I deemed lower than me for some reason. I got in a lot of trouble with both the school and my parents, but I didn't care. Eventually, I had to be temporarily sent to a boarding school to fix up my behavior. Yes, it was that bad. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I can't believe that, Ro. I, I know. I, I, I know. I hate my past and I hate who I was back then, trust me. I hurt so many people, and for what? A damn superiority complex? <sighs> I'm lucky my parents cared enough to correct my behavior. But... This is beside the point. This is just the backstory. Okay, well, what does this have to do with their current situation? I bullied Ellie and her friends. Well, except for her friend Vincent, but... I bullied her and Thomas, relentlessly. I was awful to them, just awful. Dang, I never would have guessed that you were bad to them. Yeah, and I guess they're getting back at me. I'm sorry you had to be involved in this. I feel awful. I guess that's just what happens when your past begins to catch up to you. <laughs> Roselle... I have something to confess, too. Mm-hmm. What is it? Well, um, I wasn't the best, either. It was before we met, too. I just... I don't know what the heck was wrong with me. I was troubled because of my parents getting divorced, but that doesn't excuse why I hurt them as well. So, uh, I guess this is my karma, too. I see. But but Dan didn't do anything. He's always been nice. So I guess that's why they took him to mess with us. Yeah, I guess so. We need to get our friend back. He doesn't deserve this. Absolutely. He literally did nothing wrong. I don't understand why they hold grudges this long. Pretty much. We've got this though. Our past don't define us. We're different people now, and while yes, we did horrible things, I feel they should have moved on by now. I, I know bullying is awful, and I can understand not forgiving us at all, but torturing our friend? Yeah, no. That's too far. There's no going back now. We're getting to the bottom of this. You know Amber and Roselle, right? Mm-hmm. I do. Why are you asking? They're making me mad! How? They're trying to get their friend back and he's not budging! Ugh, why are they so selfish? <laughs> I agree. 
I wish they just gave up and let us do what we want. But no, they have to act like the heroes of this story. I have to save my friend. I have to do this. Nah, nah, nah. When in reality, they suck and are the villains. Ah, <sighs> precisely. What should we do? Continue, resist, break a few bones while we fight back. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. You better be right that this will work. I want this to go through. I want this school system to go down without any obstacles. I know. Amber and Rose are just in the way. They even have that pesky teacher on their side. Seriously, they do? You mean Mrs. Allison? Yep, unfortunately they do. I don't know how, but she sees something in those idiots that I don't. Yeesh, and to think she was cool. <sighs> Anyways, let's just continue. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how are we going about getting Dan back? I'd assume it wouldn't be that easy. True, they're mean people. I doubt they'd just let him go without a fight. Likely, but... I have an idea. I think we should go there when they won't be. Perhaps during, like, break, they'd probably be doing their own thing. And the break at school is about an hour. Ansley, you can come, actually, since we're on the same building. Smart. Perhaps that's a good idea. Yeah! Though, what if it doesn't work? It isn't exactly foolproof. Anything and everything can go wrong. We'll get Miss Allison. Who? Mine and Amber's substitute teacher. She's really sweet. She offered to help us even though she's a teacher. She likes Dan and us, so I assume that's why. Dude, she's amazing. And is literally so strong. I'm honestly impressed by how strong she is. Scary, honestly. She seems nice. I want to meet her. Oh, trust me. You will. You will love her. She will love you too. She's amazing. She reminds me of a precious teacher we had. Oh, you mean Miss Holt? Yeah, she was cool. Would love to have her again. Yeah, her! Honestly, it seems like her and Mrs. Allison are connected. Well, I suppose that's our plan then. Yay! Awesome. Perhaps we'll get him back. 